Hi dear friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Ravella Design. This video I will show you how I am making this beautiful reusable face scrubbies. It has also hang after using and when you scrub your face there is a, a handle in the back. It's really very functional and also very soft. I used these colors. You can also find these ends uh, at my Etsy shop. I will also give you the link. Okay. Uh, for this work, uh, I will use pink color. My uh, thread by Rob is like this, double ply Rob. And my hook is 2 and a 5. Okay, let's start, friends. Yes, dear friends, uh, I took my yarn into my hand. First of all, we will make uh, eight chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I am inserting my hook into the first chain and uh, making a hole, making a circle, pardon, pull through it. one chain to fix the circle now one two three I'm making three times pull through yarn over pull through the hole okay I made a puffy stitch here. One chain, three times pull through again. One, two, three. Yarn over, pull through them all. One chain. Between the puffy stitches, there will be always one chain. One, two, three. Pull through the mole. And one chain. Into the circle, like this, we are going to make ten puffy stitches. Let's make ten puffy stitches and finish the first row. Yes, we made 10 puffy stitches in the first row. Now I am closing it, inserting my hook on top of the first puffy stitch. Now, and inserting my hook here. slip stitch okay one chain now I will make two puffy stitches in each hole wash here here in each hole I will make two puffy stitches and for each puffy stitch I will make four pull through one two three four yarn over I'm holding this thread here pull through yarn over pull through there is one chain between each uh, puffy stitches why I am making a uh, here four times 
pull through because I want it to be more soft and more puffy. Yes, four times again. One, two, three, four. Yarn over, pull through the mole. Okay. one chain and always uh, one chain between each puffies and now I am in the next hole what am I going to do I'm going to make two puffy stitches here like this I'm going to make the same one two three Four. Yarn over. Pull through the mole. Yarn over. Pull through. And again, one chain. I'm making another puffy stitch in the same hole. One. Two. three, four, yarn over, pull through the mole and I am fixing this puffy, pull through, one chain again, as you see, in each hole I am making two puffy stitches and there is one chain between each puffy stitch one chain one chain here one chain here and I made two puffy stitches in the next hole also you are going to make the same till come to the end okay go on making the same and uh, let's meet in the end Yes, we are at the end of the second row. Now I am inserting the head of my hook on the top of the puffy stitch. And I am also inserting my hook here in the first hole of the third row. Now we are at the third row. What we are going to do, we will go on making puffy stitches uh, four times and uh, in each space we will make one puffy stitches. In the second row we made two puffy stitches. In the each uh, ne a hole, uh, each space, but on the third uh, row we will make one puffy stitches. Let's make. Uh, I'm making four times pull through one two three four yarn over I'm holding this pull through the mole yarn over this thread yarn over pull through and one chain I am making uh, one puffy stitch this uh, space and I made one chain yarn over I'm going to the next space I'm going to make a uh, one puffy stitch again with four times one two three four times pull through I made one chain I'm going to the next space four times pull through one two three four yarn over holding this pull through them all yarn over pull through one chain yarn over I'm on the next stall yes uh, we are going making like this let's make the whole row and uh, let's meet at the end we are at the end of the third row I'm inserting my hook on top of the 
uh, first puffy stitch of the third row now slip stitch and inserting my hook here in the first space of the third row that's okay now we are on the fourth row one two three we are on the fourth row i'm making one chain i will go on making puffy stitches with four times pull through one two or two three four yarn over pull through okay two chains this time on the fourth row we are going to make two chains uh, between each puffy stitches and I am making another puffy stitch in the same space one two three four yarn over holding this pull through the mole and two chains as you see in the first space I made two puffy stitches with each puffy stitch four times pull through now I am on the next space this time I will make one puffy stitch one two three four times pull through again I'm holding this loop oops pull through the mole pull through one two chains every time at each uh, puffy stitches we are making two times chains two chains on the fourth row between each puffy stitches we are making two chains now this space two puffy stitch beside this one puffy stitch and this space we are going to make two puffy stitches again let's make one two three four holding this one two I am going to make one puffy stitch again here because uh, this fourth row will go on two one two one two one I made two one and it's two times three four two chain one two now I am on the next space this space I am going to make one puffy stitch one two three four one two chain yes dear friends on the first uh, on the fourth row we are going to make two puffy stitch one puffy stitch two one two one two one we will follow uh, this row uh, this turn and each puffy stitches we are going to make always two chains two chain two chain two chain let's finish the fourth row and let's meet at the end yes we are at the end of fourth row I'm inserting the head of my hook on top of the first puffy stitch of the first fourth row pull through slip stitch and again in the space slip stitch again two times chains 
now we are finished with the uh, pink row I am cutting this rope now we are at the fifth row for fifth row I'm taking my uh, second color it is white I will fix this uh, white color in the space for the uh, fifth row sorry it is better to tie it I tied my white rope in the uh, first space of the fourth row now uh, I'm inserting my hook here now okay we can work with the white uh, rope now now I am uh, making four times pull through one two three four holding this pull through the mold yarn over again pull through two chain one two now I'm going to the next hole I am making the same for the next hole one two three four yarn over pull through two chain now I am in the next space let me show like this one two three four yarn over pull through the mold yarn over pull through two chains on the fifth row we are changing our color I preferred white color you can change uh, you can choose different colors if you like now at each space of the fourth color you know we are making one puffy stitches one puffy stitch here one here one here one 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 we are going like this till the end and each puffy stitches we are making two chains let's make as I explained and let's meet at the end yes dear friends I am at the end of the fifth row now I am making two chains I'm inserting my hook on top of the first stitch of the white color pull through slip stitch and inserting my hook here in the first space slip stitch again two chains and I am finishing with white rope I'm cutting it off now I'm taking my pink uh, rope in my hand again I will tie it here and uh, this will be the last row sixth row will be the last row and I will finish uh, with sixth row first of all I am tidying my pink rope here I tidied up my pink row in this space okay now I can work with pink rope one chain I'm making six times of pull through uh, on this sixth row. One, two, three, four, five. Par pardon, I'm making five, five times pull through. I, I made five times pull through. Oops, pull through them all. Okay, I made. 
a puffy stitch now I'm not making any chains I'm just going to the next uh, space pull through, inserting my hook here yarn over pull through and one chain to fix uh, this puffy now I'm making again five times of puffy stitch one two three four five yarn over I'm holding this also this oops pull through yarn over pull through okay uh, I'm going to the next toll I'm not making any change meanwhile inserting my hook here yarn over yarn over again pull through <clears throat> and one chain to fix and here in the same hole here I am making five times puffy stitch one two three four five yarn over holding this pull through the mold yarn over pull through going uh, to the next space inserting my hook here in the space yarn over pull through pull through uh, one change to fix uh, our last row will go on like this the whole sixth row will be as I explained let's come to the end yes dear friends I came to the end of the sixth row I'm making my last puffy stitch and then I'm cutting my uh, rope one two three four five yarn over pull through the mall yarn over again pull through here one two chains and cutting the rope I will hide uh, this at the end of the scrubby okay now we finished the main parts of the scrubby but you see we need to make the details uh, let's make this uh, handle first yes we are going to make this handle for this reason I'm taking my pink uh, rope in my hand I will make three chains This is first chain, two chain I made a bit loop and third chain a bit tight. I will make the puffy stitch in the second uh, chain. Now six times pull through one. Two three four five six pull through the mold yarn over pull through and one chain to fix yes one puffy stitches here like this 
we will make 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We will make totally 13 puffy stitches. Let's make the second together. Six times. You see the hole here? Here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yarn over holding this, pull through them all. Yarn over again, pull through, pull through again and one chain to fix yes we made the second let's make the third one one two three four five six yarn over holding this Oops, pull through them all, yarn over and pull through, one chain to fix. Yes, we made third. Uh, like this, uh, you should make 10 more. Totally, you will make uh, 13 puffy stitches. Let's make totally 13 puffy stitches and meet at the end. I made this before in advance for you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 puffy stitch. After making this 13 puffy stitch, we will make the border of the handle. We are going to make the border only with uh, chains. <coughs> we are not making anything but chains. Dear friends, meanwhile, till now, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe it for my further videos and uh, activate the info ring. I will go on sharing beautiful patterns at my video channel. So I kindly request you to subscribe my channel. Now <coughs> I am fixing uh, the white rope here. I will make six chains. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now I'm coming here. You see? Between the two puffy stitches, there is a connecting space here. Inserting my hook, pull through, pull through. Now I'm making five chains. <coughs> one two three four five at the beginning i made six chains because if i make five chains it's been stretching so uh, six chain for starting it is okay but for the following i'm making five chains now i'm inserting my hook here again yarn over pull through five times chains one two three four five the next space insert my hook yarn over pull through pull through one two three four five I'm going to the next inserting my hook Okay, pull through, one, two, three, four, five, I'm going to the next. Like this, let's come to the end. Here, let's come to the end. I will show you the rest. Yes, we made chains at border. Now I am here uh, at the end. Now I am, I made five chains. Pardon. Let's make here first. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I am 
now at the end of the other end for top of here inserting my hook yarn over and now I will make six chains while turning one two three four five six otherwise it will be tight it's okay now now I will make the same as I did here one two three four five I'm here inserting my hook yarn over pull through and pull through again one two three four five I will go like this let's come to the till the end and let's finish the handle yes I came to the end I'm inserting my hook once again at the same space making one chain tightly and cutting the rope off We will hide these uh, ropes, the remaining ropes, while tidying this handle. Now we are finished with the handle, like this. We will knit later on, we will sew later on. <coughs> and now it's uh, time to make the flower. Yes, for making the flower I took my hand, my white rope. I will make eight chains to starting. one two three four five six seven eight I'm inserting head of my hook in the first chain of the circle of yarn over pull through and one chain now I will make a Puffy stitches also here with three times one, two, three, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Now I am making four chain one, two, three, four. Inserting on top of on top of the puppy stitch. Pull through, yarn over, pull through, and four times chain again. One, two, three, four. Inserting my hook in the same hole. Four times chain. One, two, three, four. Inserting my hook in the same hole. Now we are finished with the per first puppy stitch. Now I am making one chain and I am making my second puppy stitch. One, two, three. Three times we are making. I yarn over, pull through, pull through. Four chains. One, two, three, four. I'm inserting my hook on top of my second puffy stitch. Four chains. One, two, three, four. Inserting my hook in the same hole. Yarn over, pull through. Four, four chains. One, two, three, four. Yes, we made the second puppy stitch also. Let me explain you. After making puppy stitch for three times, we are making four times of chains and inserting on top of the puppy stitch. Uh, we are closing this. After that, we are repeating this two times. Totally, we will make one, two, 
three pieces of uh, this pattern and these patterns are made with four times of chains and on the next we are doing the same thing let me show once again we are finished with the second puffy you know what we are going to do we will make one chain to go to the third puffy stitch and we will make our third puffy stitch first one two three <coughs> pull through yarn over pull through pull through uh, I am making four chains one two three four inserting my hook on top of the uh, third puffy insert it yarn over pull through yarn over again pull through yes I made the first pattern now for the second I am making four chains more one two three four I'm repeating his this what am I going to do I am inserting my hook here yarn over pull through and yarn over pull through that's all now I will make the third for this re uh, reason I will make four chains one two three four inserting my uh, hook here in the same hole yarn over pull through yarn over pull through yes it's done you see one two three we made three puffies uh, we will make totally ten puffy stitches let's repeat uh, the, all the things uh, all the ways I, I told let's come to the end and I will tell you you are making 10 puffy stitches and the things on the puffy stitches let's finish and I will tell you the next yes dear friends I made totally 10 puffy stitches and I also made uh, the things on the puffies and finished uh, my flower hope you also finished what am I going to do I will make one chain and I will insert uh, my hook here in the space on the first starting puffy yarn over pull through yarn over pull through making two chains and I am finishing with this flower so I'm cutting the rope off okay now we also finish the flower we finished the handle we already finished the main part the only thing we should do is the handle when we scrub our face or you can you can use a uh, body scrubber not, not only face scrubber this is very useful or uh, you cannot uh, make the flower the handle and you can use the main part as a dish scrub that depends on you but in my design I designed it as a face and body scrub okay let's make the handle part for the handle part we are making uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine uh, totally nine puffy stitches we are going to make for this I'm taking my pink rope in my hand I'm making three chains first and third chain a bit tight the second chain a bit loose because we will make the first puffy in the second chain now I'm making it a bit loose and I'm making the third chain a bit tight again okay I will make three times pull through one two three yarn over pull through yarn over pull through and one chain to fix the puff stitch okay 
On top of this, we are making the second one. Yarn over again three times. One, two, three times pull through. Now, yarn over, I'm holding this, pull through all. Yarn over, pull through, and pull through. One chain. Now we are on the third puffy stitch. One, two, three, yarn over, holding this, pull through the mold, yarn over, pull through, and we'll pull through one chain. I made now three puffy stitches. For this, uh, we are going to make totally nine puffy stitches. Let's make totally nine puffy stitches and I will tell you what we are going to do next. Yes, I made totally nine puffy stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now I am on the second row. On this row. Uh, for this reason, I am making one puffy stitches, but this tenth puffy stitch will not uh, remain uh, the continue of this. It will be the uh, starting of this uh, new row. One, two, three. Yarn over. I'm closing it. Yarn over, yarn over. Pull through. And one chain. Now, on this 10th puffy stitch, I'm making another one, two, three. This time, I'm, I'm not uh, closing it. I'm not making the puffy stitch. What am I going to do? I will make yarn over and not here, but here. I will make another three times pull through. One, two, three. I'm not a pull through now. I am yarn over and on the next hole, on the next space between these uh, two puffy stitches, I'm making another three times of pull through. One, two, three. Now, there are three puffy stitches on my loop, as you see. Now, I will make yarn over and I'm holding this tightly and uh, holding uh, the ropes on my hook tightly with my thumb and uh, middle finger. Now, I am uh, pulling through them all together. Yes. Yarn over, yarn over. Pull through, pull through. One chain. Now, I am making another uh, pull, th three times pull three on top of this, on top of here. One, two, three. Now, here, I am making another three times of uh, pull through. One, two, three. Yarn over. I'm going to the next and here I'm making another three times of pull through. One, two, three. Now, there are three puffy stitches on my hook. Now I will pull through them all together. One chain. From now on, we'll go on till the end. Uh, let me show you once again. Yarn over. 
here on top of first of all let me show like this we are making one puffy stitch here i mean three times pullover one here the second one here and the third one here there will be totally three puffy stitches on my hook. In order to fix it uh, neatly, I'm pulling them through. Hope you understand. Let me go on. Okay, as I explained to you just before, I'm making one puffy stitches on top of this. One, two, three. Yarn over. The second puffy stitches I'm making here, here one two three yarn over and i'm making the third puffy stitches on the next one two three yarn over holding this pull through one chain let me show once again one two three I made the first puffy stitch on top of this row, the second puffy stitch here, one, two, three, and the third puffy stitch in the next hold, one, two, three, yarn over, holding this. I'm pulling through them all and one chain yes friends hope uh, I could explain in detail let's come to the end like this when we come to the end I will tell you the next yes I come to the end uh, let's make together the last one one two three and the second puffy stitch here below one two three and the last one is we will make here one two three yarn over I'm pulling them all together okay our first row is finished I'm turning I'm turning my work back I made one chain before yarn over I'm making one puffy stitch here one two three yarn over I'm closing this as I explained you on previous row uh, we are using these finished these closed puffy stitches uh, in order to go to the upper row in the starting in the beginning of each uh, new row we will make this kind of closed uh, puffy stitches when we make this puffy stitch and then we will go on uh, the rest I mean three puffy stitches on top of this starting puffy stitch one two three and then the second one here one two three yarn over and then the third one in the next one two three yarn over holding this pull through yarn over pull through as you see we will go on uh, on the second row
end. On top of this one, we will make three times pull through. One, two, three. Yarn over. Three times here. One, two, three. Yarn over. Three times in the next here. One, two, three. Yarn over. I'm holding this. Pull through the mold. Yarn over. Pull through and pull through. And one chain. Okay. We will go on like this, uh, making three puffy stitches on the hook. Come to the end. Let's come to the end. I came to the end of this row. Now I'm making three times of uh, puppy stitch here one two three now the second one here one two three the last one here at the end this one you see one two three now three puffy stitches on my hook yarn over i'm holding this pull through the mold yarn over pull through one chain this row is also finished how many rows we should make let's count from hole to hole from this to this one two three let's count one two that means we will make one row more and then we will finish it i made one chain and then i'm turning my work i'm making uh, the starting uh, puffy stitch how i am going to do it i will make it as closed one two three yarn over pull through it closing and one chain always how many rows if we uh, make it doesn't matter but when we go to the upper row we will all make always uh, making the upper starting uh, stitch like this after that we are going to uh, make three puffy stitches on our hook but first starting always will be like this single one two three yarn over and here one two three yarn over to the next one two three yarn over we are pulling through the through the mall pull through and pull through one chain okay you know how to make the following let's make till the end and uh, let's finish this one yes dear friends i finished the handle part i made one chain let me make one chain more and i cutting uh, the rope now we are finished also with the handle what we are going to do the next step is to uh, so all of them we will sew all the parts and i will uh, tell you i will show you how we are going to sew them all for this uh, i need a needle and a scissors and i will use uh, these yarns i got the pink uh, yarn on my need in my needle first of all i will sew this uh, hook up
after sewing uh, all them we will hide these uh, remaining ropes uh, inside the puffy stitches let's dear friends we are sewing the hook up like this yes I sew the hook up now uh, I will uh, sew this at the back of my face face and body scrubby pardon this is front side this is back side here and now I am sewing this here there is a pink rope in my needle I'm trying to sew it up uh, very tightly and I will be careful uh, the rope is not visible in the front side yes dear friends you are sewing the hook at the back side of the face scrubby like this yes I saw the hook now uh, I will sew the flower here for this I got uh, my white rope in my needle and let's start sewing the flower I will be careful that my white rope it will not be it shouldn't be uh, visible at the back side Let's friend, you will sew the flower up like this all around. Yes, I sew the flower up. I cut my rope. Everything is okay for now. I'm turning my uh, scrubby back. Now it's turned for the handle. Like this. Yes. Uh, it will be like this I got my pink rope in my hand and let's start sewing it up I'm sewing here two times in order it to be tightly sewed up okay dear friends it's easy you are sewing this side and also the that side and it's going to be finished yes dear friends I sew this up it's okay now uh, we have a beautiful face and body scrubbies hope you will like this video I hope I could explain every detail to you regarding this beautiful scrubby till now if you watch my video and like please remember to leave like remarks and also I am waiting you to be subscribed to my video subscription is totally free of charge thank you so much I will go on sharing beautiful videos and waiting for your subscription